Hi everybody, don't be afraid, those were a pair of white legs. So I've just finished work, I'm out playing football with my daughter at the minute. And oh, I really shouldn't be allowed far too well for this, but oh, I'm losing as well to my six year old daughter. Oh. Enough of that anyway, so let's roll the credits. Hi everybody, it's Rolfie back here for another brand new spanking video. Alright, so after all that cut around with the daughter, I'm going to chill out tonight. The wife's doing a face chat with her friends because of this whole lockdown shite. Never mind. Um, so tonight's film, um, I'm going to go and watch Go. Just watching it there. Um, I'm going to watch... The woman, little man, um, starring Polly McIntosh. This is obviously, as you saw in my last video, I got this along with ICU. So I'm going to bang it on tonight. I want to see what this bad boy's like uh, and hopefully uh, give you a review after it's done and give you my views and opinions. I think, personally, it's going to be a bit like Alien. Not that it's obviously going to be as good as Alien, but where slow build up, slow build up, slow build up, and there's this big crescendo at the end and loads of gore and shit and everything. That's my think anyway. So, uh, without further ado, um, let's crack on. Right, here we go. Nice menu from Arrow's release of The Woman. So let's get this show on the road and see what I think. Okay, so, The Woman. So I just finished watching that. Um, what did I think of it? It was okay. Nothing spectacular. Nothing shit. It's kind of in the middle, really. Um, as I predicted, it did start off really slowly. Starts off with a family, dad, mum, uh, baby sister, uh, daughter and son. Um, dad, some kind of lawyer in that respect. But then you look at behind the doors and there's scenes of the doors. And he's very domineering in the household. Mum's afraid to look at him. Mum's afraid to speak to him. He's very overbearing within the relationship uh, and then on, he leaves to go on to a hunting trip and at this hunting trip he sees the woman uh, comes home does out with cellar telling the family to build this cellar well not build a cellar but rearrange the cellar so that he could possibly bring her home and the next thing you know he's brought her home and he's chained her up uh, and it's all about him introducing her to the family them seeing how wild and feral she is but also dealing with her own personal battles the, the son wants to look up to his dad he sees very much that what his dad's doing is the norm the wife is starting to come into her senses that she doesn't want to be in this abusive relationship and then the daughter is having her own problems uh, at school and mentally mental health issues so yeah so it builds up and there's a big like i said crescendo at the end and things go off um you could tell it's a raw early kind of Texas Chainsaw Massacre kind of film where there's not a large budget. Um, it's a very indie kind of horror flick, I would say. Um, but yeah, I mean, if, if that's your cup of tea, if you like Texas, I do like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is nowhere near comparison to it. Um, it's worth a watch for me. Um, I've watched it. I'm going to watch The Offspring and then I'm going to possibly sell this now because I, I honestly don't think I'm going to watch it again. So I might chuck this on eBay. Um, I just like I say, I want to watch the Offspring, the prequel. It's not really the prequel because this was technically the sequel to the two that. Uh, and then I looked as well, and there's a there is first was the off first was Offspring, and then the woman, and then Polly McIntosh here. She wrote and directed the third one called Darling, and I'm not going to tell you what that's about because that'll spoil the ending of this. Um, so I need, so I'll probably watch that stream, that third one, just to get the obviously the whole trilogy or the family and the woman together. But yeah, so uh, moving on. So yeah, so I'm going to give this a roll to rating of six point five out of ten. Like I said, not rubbish, not brilliant. Somewhere along the uh, somewhere along the middle, middle ground. A bit like I'm sitting. I don't want to sit on the fence. It's just when it comes to movies, I'm very much of either good, the bad. But this one, but it's neither. And I'll just have to agree to disagree with myself that 
it's just an average film. Uh, good arrow treatment. They've got a lot of good extras on it, and the booklet's lovely. Uh, the presentation, the overall look of the Blu-ray with regards to this look as well as on the film is great. Can't complain. But yeah, so like I said, 6.5 out of 10. If you want to check it out, yeah, I would, I'll give it a go. If it's nothing to write home about. Um, yeah, and that's your lot. So yeah, that's that. So that's my review done. Uh, two days now to get comments onto my couple of pops back for the giveaway. You need a comment on that one to get your name into the draw to win the, the Purge, Jaws and the Star Wars DVD. Uh, and that's it. So... I'm going to do another review. I don't know what film I'm going to watch next. Or if I get more mail called today or the next couple of days, I'll roll a video about that. Other than that, um, that's it really. So I'm just going to say stay safe, roll for you out uh, and have a good rest of your day.